Hello Pisces, my very last and absolute favorite. Sometimes when y'all aren't like thinking I'm boring or some shit. It is time for your mid-February to March reading of this current year, 2019. Just fuck. I tried doing that 12 fucking times and I still ain't got it right. Anyway, it's time for y'all's reading. This is going to be Thunderdome, so there's going to be two readings involved. Group one and group two, Pisces, you figure out which one you're going to be, and I'll go from there. Because, you know, I'm not going to decide who's who. Quite rude of me, really. Um, I'm still doing personal readings, so if you want one, my email is down below. You can hit me up there. Um, my PayPal is also in the description as well. I don't take um, payment for my personals, but I like tips. So you can just pay me whatever you want if that's what you want to do. That's why it's called Donate. But we're going to go ahead and get started. And since you guys are last, I'll go ahead and tell you the secret. I'm going to start putting up more of my drawing videos that I did previously. I haven't done them in like a year because I started doing this. But I'm finding time in between. So, I am probably going to upload some more of my drawings with HP Lovecraft. Maybe Claro Clark Smith Ashton. I'm not sure because I don't know if I like him. I do like um, Frank Belknap. And Algernon Blackwood, even though Algernon is more like ghosty thriller horror stories than like cosmic horror. But that's okay. Okay. We'll use that as first card. Five of Cups reversed. Some regrets. You're having a hard time getting over group one. No whammy. So then we have Prince of Wands. Have you had to see that one? So that's different. King of Cups reversed. Moon reversed. Death. A lot of water. Nine of cups. You guys got a lot of water in your reading, Spices, I gotta say. Beginning theme. King of Wands, right? The established ruler. He is fair, though he is strict. Dil 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 diligent and disciplined, right? He's fair though. We'll give him that. He is fair. He's fair. We should remember that. Ooh, that one already popped up. Star! So, it might be an Aquarius, but there is a need to communicate with somebody about these regrets that you're having a hard time getting over, right? There might be. Player one. If this isn't you, this is someone you're dealing with, either or. But it doesn't matter. That's how you're feeling. We got the situation down below with the moon reverse. Could be you, Pisces. You could be also dealing with a cancer as well. But someone is coming out of some illusions, I feel like. Someone's coming out of some emotional manipulations. Or they realize there have been strings attached to them. And someone's controlling them a little bit, I feel like. Or someone didn't realize they were playing a game until, like, they started looking back at themselves. And seeing what they've been leaving behind. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, some karma came in. Some righteous justice, possibly Libra. So now we're getting air. <laughs> like, there's a little bit of fire, but there's more water than anything. Like, we got the Prince of Wands up here. Could also be the King of Wands' uh, other self. They're coming in. They're delivering something that might be coming in for some booty. Beware. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Page ones, yeah. Might be coming with news about wanting that booty. Get that booty. <laughs> These could all be the same people, right? Like, <laughs> you get that booty, man. You get it. But, um, yeah, this person might be coming in. They might be charging towards you. They definitely have good news and messages. That's what you're looking for. That's what you're wanting, group one. And if it's booty, by God, you get that booty. Because it's your booty to please that booty. <laughs> um, but then we have death down here. Could be Scorpio you're dealing with. Who's your challenge? Transformation. Changes. Things must die in order for the new to begin. Jesus Christ almighty. What was that? Come here. Someone wants to stay in their comfort zone. With the four of pentacles. Someone rather not. <laughs> Someone's just like, I can't even. I'm sorry, I just can't. Not today. That's fair, though. 
I can understand that. Um, King of Cups! Could be you, Pisces. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Cancer as well. Someone is too attached to themselves to worry about anybody else. He's only focused on his own cup. He's not paying attention to the others around him. He could be very selfish, but that's being kept under wraps. Like, they're keeping that shit under wraps and just observing. Like, spot. That's a fear or rejection. Like, what if you're trying to keep to yourself and you're just watching and waiting to see if um, someone fucks up? I can see that. Then we got the Nine of Cups reversed. Um, wish fulfillment, but someone's not satisfied with that wish. Tower moment somewhere. Like, someone... Someone might end up getting what they wished for. And not being happy about it. And now they wish they just never saw it. Catalyst and final result, right? Like someone's getting what they want, but they're also avoiding the tower, which means like they're like really not trying to see things for as they are. They're really not trying to come to end things, you know? That's why they're being secure. That's why they're trying to hold it back. Like someone's keeping their changes a secret. Taking things over with your rule, huh? King, or uh, Four of Swords. I almost, almost said King of Swords. Someone is really meditating and thinking about things while they are controlling what's going on around them with the King of Wands. That's the first card of advice for Group 1 for Pisces. Ooh, got two cards. Um, working on it. But, you know, how things go. Not really trying to communicate or talk about it. I feel like some of you might have somebody else. <sighs> Just saying. Like, I got that vibe. Because here he is. Here's this one is. Like, maybe you're dreaming about this fire sign who keeps showing up. With good news and booty. You know? You're just stuck in your prey and just being like, mmm. I'm gonna get that booty, you know? It's like maybe somebody like has a crush on somebody and they're avoiding the tower of having that crush break it for them, right? Or maybe you're just worried that they aren't as good as you think they are. Yeah, you're not coming out and saying nothing, group one. Or someone you're dealing with is not saying whatever, whoever this person is. But yeah, I, I always think someone has a crush on somebody. It's kind of cute. Then they got this dude on his mind. That's actually really cute. All right, group two, it's your turn. I swear, Pisces, you were so adorable sometimes, I swear. Like with your feelings and shit. <laughs> oh, I wish, sometimes as a Capricorn, I wish I could be as imaginative and as emotional as you guys. Y'all always seem like you have fun. Even if it's causing trouble most of the time and you play like the melodramatic heroic type. Wait. Yes. Okay. Alright. Good to you. It's your turn. Step right up to the beatings. Not really. I don't beat anybody. Ah. Let's see what these cards have for you. Ooh. Well, let's see what these two, th what three say right now. Um, you're holding out on something with your strength, even though you're not happy. But you're not saying it. You're not coming out and saying it, that's for sure. Keeping that under wraps. Rather not. There is Aquarius, the star. No whammies. Prince of Pentacles. Five of Swords reversed and betrayal. Ace of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. Hanged Man. Three of Pentacles reversed. There's a lack of balance and you're just kind of hanging on to the Pentacles instead of balancing the Pentacles out to support you. Either financially, mentally, material-wise, Whatever. Doesn't matter. Either way, you're fucky. Right? 
Right. All right. So we got the star, y'all. Who is trying to communicate and they're working on communicating with the Eight of Pentacles? Look at that. That was pretty quick. I'm surprised at that. But we have the Ace of Wands reversed down below in the situation, right? Someone wants to communicate and somebody wants to work on stuff, but there is no action being taken by a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be Pisces doing this shit, right? Where they just are like, nah, I don't know if I should start this or not. Then we got a Prince of Pentacles up here who's slow with his offer, but he's still going. But for some reason, like, his feet are made of, like, wood except for the one. I don't understand. Like, it's like he stood there so long he grew roots. But he's still coming with an offer. Possibly from Scorpio. Mmm. Swiggity swooty. <laughs> I'm totally making that the title of your guys' video. Coming for that booty. That is totally going to be your title. I don't care. This is adorable, I have to say. This is like the best... You guys have the best reading so far, I have to say. And I'm really proud to be giving it to you because everyone else is just kind of like confusing and like sending messages to you, Pisces. Are actually just like, I think you're adorable. Like, that's what I'm getting from this, okay? Someone is definitely waiting for a message from possibly a Scorpio. Or just waiting for things to change. Something to end so they can start something new um but the wheel of fortune is saying something's not moving because it's in reverse possibly with an aries um something's not moving forward with an aries they're not actually in control of anything they're not dominating they're not manipulating things like they normally do like something's not going ahead so that's a challenge like maybe they aren't moving forward maybe you gotta take the first step bro take that first step oh with this Five of Swords up here, which is like a betrayal. Like, maybe somebody did something in order to win a battle, but they ended up losing the war, and now they're kind of regretting things. This lack of a new beginning, which could be over here. With, um, you, Pisces. Since you're, since Queen of Cups is over here. Like, maybe you see that there's no beginning with this, and that's why you're just flirting. Because I can see you doing that, but like... You're looking back, kind of like, ah, uh, wish things would have went differently so stuff could have started. Here's the hangman right here. He's, um, just hanging around. He knows he's got to move soon, though. Like, at a crossroads or whatever. But it's hard from the way his decision's at. Like, he's having issues, like, coming to one, weighing the options out with the two of pentacles reversed. And, ooh, I got two cards come up. All right, I'll read first. So then we got King of Swords, not coming out saying anything, right? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius type. But we got the High Priestess here, so definitely keeping it a secret. But they're not going to say anything about feeling a little off balance, right? So someone's not feeling, someone might have a bad attitude about feeling off balance as well. Ah. Okay, you calm down, because I don't even know that I haven't even said anything. Okay, advice cards. Now you can go. What advice can you give group two for Pisces? Yeah, someone isn't coming to communicate. Like and if they are, it's like wonky communication. And yeah. And they're just not, they're observing, but they're not saying anything. Keeping all these emotions and feelings and wants and wishes, you know, under wraps. And five of Pentacles reversed. Someone feels left out in the cold and they want to come back in. What is this? Like, you guys still have, like, the most inspirational reading so far, but it's like, you know, hmm. Does somebody feel like it was too late? Like, someone sees that there's no new beginning, and now someone's afraid, and they're kind of kicking themselves in the path, pants for it, too. I have to say, if it's someone... Feels like between the two of you, like, you both kind of, like, dig each other. It's just neither one of you know how to start a conversation. 
or maybe you guys are just missing the mixed signals in between, you know? Like, you don't know how to read off of each other, maybe? But it, but it really, it, but I, I almost say that like you both have a crush on each other. It's really cute. That's the, that's what I'm getting from this reading. It's nothing negative. It's just you don't know how to express your feelings to each other, and it's really fucking adorable. So, I don't know, but I would say make the first move, because this motherfucker is too stupid to do it. <laughs> Or whatever. One of the two of you. I don't know. But that's y'all's reading, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.